for that grant. Great. Um, I, I did have a question. I saw that on your uh, CEO report of the 13 counties. Um, is there funding for all 13, or are we going to have to fight and scrape to get our share? Uh, there was approximately, I think, $2 million made available um, for the various counties. So there should be enough in there, and I think that included funding for first two years' worth of maintenance. Yep. We do have some challenges because our GIS system and some of the the operational components that you need to make reverse 911 work properly, we don't have in place in this county. So we're, we're still, although we're applying for the grant, uh, there are some operational challenges that we'll need to put in place before it works as uh, it does normally. Okay, thank you. Um, appointments to boards and commissions. I think we have two appointments to make today. Item uh, G and item CC. I'd like to move item number CC for the Mendocino County Retirement Board, Lloyd Weir. And Lloyd Weir, it's been moved and seconded. And uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, passes unanimously. Item G on page two, Child Care Planning Council. I believe there's two candidates presented. Oh, I'm sorry. I lumped them in together. There is uh, one recommendation for GG Child Care Planning Council. Do I hear a motion on that? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Second. Okay, all those in favor of Truby Kerrigan signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, passage unanimously. And item H. The Public Health Advisory Board, uh, Jendi Kersey is brought before us. Um, do I hear any action on that? Moved. Uh, it's been moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded for Ms. Jendi Kersey. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Okay, I think that's all the appointments. I just need a clarification. The um, Planning Commission has two vacancies right now. One is the Agricultural Representative. The Board's policy is to conduct interviews for candidates. The current appointee is interested in being reconsidered, and so we're seeking Board direction on whether to go ahead and schedule an interview for that on a future meeting or waive the interview process because we have no other candidates to be considered. Has he, has he He's reapplying? He's interested Good. in being yeah. reappointed. Is so right? we're seeking your Is that yeah. great? Yeah. I would suggest we uh, dispense with the interview um, unless he's so inclined to come forward. We can schedule that for the next available board meeting for your consideration. For a board, for appointment. board appointment. Right, waiver of the interview. Yeah. yeah. I think that's consensus of the board. Very good. Thank you, David. You've already done the advertising. There's no other applicant. Right? Right. Don't have it as application in hand. He's verbally expressed his interest in being reappointed. Good. Okay. Um, public expression. Is there any members of the public that would like to speak to any item on, not on the agenda at posted today? Sure. Step forward. Please state your name and, and uh, keep your comments to three minutes. My name is Bill Leach and I live in Red River Valley. Bill Leach and I live in Red River Valley. Uh, I have some property out there I would like to put under water and supply water for your kaya if you get arrested in it. Uh, I've got, I think it's a 27 acre piece, it might be 20, 37, but it's 27, but I can get, uh, I've been coming in to see Mr. Delbaugh here for <laughs> part of all of you. But anyway, uh, it, uh, the only way I know how to make it without looking up in the books and everything is just a 10 foot hole, 10 foot high, not just a 10 foot hole, 10 by 10 okay. acre hole would be 100 square feet, 100 acre feet. And then if you want to go up 10 feet, you add 10, 10, 10, 10, another 100 acre feet, you know what I mean? But this is a 27 acre piece. And uh, I could put uh, probably 20 of it underwater real easy. It's just got a natural slope of about uh, 35 feet up. And then it comes down to about 14 acre feet, 10, 14 acre feet. And then you have to develop a lot of water real fast. Okay. And it's one of the 
a few people were interested. Uh, I don't know how they get down the middle of the, middle of the stream to, uh, there is a line that goes right off the corner of, uh, of that place that goes to Redwood Valley and over to the railroad track, but I don't know how you get a few tires or, you know, I know you've got a line coming in, I think on a track or someplace close to it. But you could go right down the river to this railroad vessel in Redwood Valley and get right on the track. Anyway, that's all I had to say. I came in to see you. Uh, Supervisor Dover. Thank you, Mr. Neese, for offering that up. Sorry. Thank you for offering that up. I, I know Mr. Sanford, which is our water agency general manager, he actually has uh, somebody doing soil tests right now on it. I don't know. I'll make sure he touch bases with you again because they've been out there. They've taken the soil samples. They're doing some of the, the geophysical tests that they need to do to determine just what the, what the compaction rates need to be and what we could actually do. But we're definitely interested. That would be a great uh, one additional water supply source for Redwood Valley. I, I, I wasn't going around Mr. Sanford, but I know he uh, was going to do his test. I know he Okay. Most of all, I want to be there. I'll make sure we get back and yeah. he, he gets back in touch. As well, I had there, and I thought maybe he thought that was all there was. No, no, he was talking about actually storage yeah, above yeah, and beyond yeah. the well. I know he had somebody go out there doing tests. We had an update yeah. from him, I think, last week. But I'll make sure he gets back in touch yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, but thank, thank you very, you much. very much. Yeah. How would you propose to fill this reservoir? Natural runoff of her pumping out of the river to fill it? Uh, no, the river, uh, the river would fill it. Right now, uh, three weeks ago, <coughs> I could have pumped it. You, do you have a water right to pump that? Would you have you have you have the existing water right? That's above and beyond what you currently use. Your water rights for above and beyond what you currently use. We'll, we'll certainly look into it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Okay, at this point, uh, that concludes uh, open session meeting, and uh, we'll now adjourn to a closed session items.